In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make three options custom shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've just added some uh, good uh, background image here on, for this particular shape. And then I've added a gradient fill. Then I've added the text on top of that one. Then on my next click, it will show a different image with different gradient fill. Then the third one and one line I have added here. If you want, you can just make something like this without any line also, or you can make something a uh, monochrome or a gray color scale also, something like this. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, and from the basic shapes, I can select any of these, maybe the pentagon or hexagon or octagon, maybe let me just select this pentagon just draw a pentagon of any size you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and then right mouse click edit points you can see the uh, five or six points there i'm going to just right mouse click on the point and here it is uh, mentioned as corner point i'm just going to make it as a smooth point just so each point you have to do the same thing make it smooth point you can see here this is also i'm going to make a smooth point and then this is also I'm going to make a smooth point so you end up getting like this and then you can just whichever shape you want you can just change it for example I can just click it here and I can just bend something like this also whichever way you can just change the the size and the shape of the object so this is the one way of doing that one and then go to insert shapes so now I'm going to select maybe this one which is the hexagon draw the hexagon you can see here again any size you can take it shape outline make it no outline and again right mouse click edit points and then for this also i'm going to make it smooth point one by one you can see here this is also i'm going to make it a smooth point and here also i'm going to make a smooth point so again if you want you can just change it you can drag this one you can do something like this and if you want you can just go to insert shapes maybe you can just take uh, this one also which one a diamond shape also but let me just take this one which is the heptagon again draw this heptagon right mouse click edit points and then again i'm going to make it smooth point one by one you can see here so there's no restriction here if you want you can delete one extra point also for example i want to delete this point i can just simply come and click the delete point here and then this one i can just move something like this so i've you can see here i've just created a three different shapes maybe this much size required for this so let me just remove the outline for this also no outline and then i'm going to add or insert any image or the photo here to do that one right mouse click go to format shape from fill you can just select the picture or texture fill so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to tell you the site where generally i used to download that one www.unsplash dot com this is the website where i download a lot of uh, uh, free images so you can see here unsplash.com you can just go and download it so now let me just add one by one i'm just going to select the picture or texture fill and click on insert and click from file and then select the image you want to add it to this particular shape so you can see here i've added uh, these three different images here now if you want you can just go to the format and color you can make it a gray scale also something like this but let it be color then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to fill and make it a solid fill you can see here i'm going to give some different color hold the shift key reduce the size and put it exactly in the center you can see here then i'm going to give a gradient fill so i'm going to select the gradient fill by default four stops are there so i'm going to delete these two stops first stop i'm going to select and go to more colors 
you can choose any color of your choice for example let me just give some a green color combination with a fluorescent so you can see here i'm just going to use some fluorescent color here or i can just make it more light fluorescent something maybe this one yeah so you can see here and then i'm going to select this again press ctrl d and make this also gradient fill reduce the size you put it here and this also press ctrl d gradient fill again reduce the size if you want you can just change it again you can just say edit points and then you can just play with this stops so you can see here now you can just add any color of your choice for these options again let me just go here i can give maybe a purple color along with some different color combination maybe a kind of uh, pink or something like that or let me just give a purple light purple here or i can just make it maybe uh, this color also so whichever color you feel better you can just add it again let me just go here and then i'm going to select maybe a blue color here and here i can just go and i can just select any other color of my choice so different colors a uh, color options you can uh, choose from this now it's time to add the text go to insert text box you can just type for example option 01 center align make it white font if you want make it bold i'm going to choose the font which is century gothic you can see here i'm just going to add it here and then go to insert you can add your detailed text here you can see here you can add your detailed text if you want you can make it white or some other colors also you can keep it so let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate you can add here this is option two and then this is the option three so uh, with this one we have almost completed this one if you want you can add some background lines for example insert shapes i can go and say the curve here you can see here start the curve something like this it is goes like this here and then outside of that one double click this and increase the width you can see here just increase the width and you can give some gradient fill to it again gradient fill whichever color you want for example i want some color like this and i want some blue color and i want something different color for example i want something green here so all these three different colors you can use it here the last thing is you can just select this go to format and then send this to back you can see here uh, you can do something like this and then if you want you can add a simple animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation go to more entrance effect i'm just going to say basic zoom you can see here and the effect i'm going to say from out so it comes something like this and for this also i'm going to do the same animation basic zoom and this should come from in only here and the effect it should be after previous start after previous and then you can add any text animation to this you can make it after previous so if i play it comes something like this so using the animation painter you can simply copy this to the other options as well or the other shapes you can see here then i'm just going to select this then i'm going to select this so if i play now it looks something like this you can see here and for this line also you can just give a wipe effect wipe effect you can just say from left and this should also happen after previous if i play you can see here it comes something like this That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.